The one piece of advice that I would give to young girls watching this interview would be to know who you are so that you can pursue your dreams and that you pursue those dreams with a kind of tenacity and with a kind of conviction and the kind of, 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 of tunnel vision that allows you to keep on track and to continue, continue until you've um, succeeded in whatever that dream is for you. And that in order to achieve that, one of the things that you will need to do is to develop mentors and to develop a group of people in an inner circle that you trust, that um, are authentic, that, can, that you can go to that can help you to pursue the dreams that you have. But they have to be your dreams. And these people are people who will help you to pursue your dreams, not their dreams. Smith College is a, is a woman's college. And I really had any intention of going to a woman's college. I mean, I had grown up in co-ed educational systems. But it was a really good experience for me. Me being the shy girl that I was growing up, it was a really good experience for me because it was the one place where women were really taken seriously. When they said, I want to be an astrophysicist, someone said, here, take this class do this thing, we're going to position you in front of this person who's going to help you to become that. Not, oh, you're just so pretty, why don't you just become a housewife? And there's nothing wrong with being a housewife if that's what you want to do, but if you have other dreams and goals, being taken seriously as a woman, I think, is a really important thing. And so um, I would say to young girls that you need to position yourself around people who will take you seriously for what you want to do in life. And that's one of the things I think that I learned outside of the classroom at Smith College.